What's up guys, Kevin Cage back with another XRP update, let's dive in. Hey, really quick guys, so I just recorded this entire video and I'm using a new audio software because my mic was glitching, so I'm going to try to fix that. Throughout this entire video, you're going to hear my voice coming in and out. I do apologize, I'm working to mitigate that as soon as possible. Thanks for your patience and let's get into it. What is up guys? So I'm beyond happy to come back from vacation. I know the last video we did before I was saying bye was on April 1st and look where the price was on April 1st. XRP was about 57 cents on vacation. I was trying not to check my phone. I was in Key West and as well as Miami did not have the best cell reception, but man, I was just fiending to look at the charts. We saw that we were even wicking well over close to $1.15 on some exchanges. Once again, in this video, I'm just going to go over the XRP price chart high level specifically for people that are new and be sure to hit the bell icons if you guys want to be notified every time I upload. I have a lot to catch up on, a lot of research. We're going to be sticking to the fundamentals and news, but I did want to do a price and chart video today. So yet again, all the people that were buying at 20 cents, at 30 cents, at 50 cents are reaping the rewards. So I know that some of us are afraid because we're wicking down back to 96 cents. We came down almost having that EMA. Once again, this is natural. These consolidation periods are fine. Just to paint some perspective, we are still at several hundred percent on the year of 2021, even during a massive lawsuit with the SEC. Do I think that Ripple comes out on top? Yes, absolutely. I know that people will laugh when I say zero doubt in this asset class. I believe it can't be stopped. I think this is a giant algorithm. We're going to look at the macro trends. You guys can disagree. That is completely fine. Let me know your thoughts down below. But I wanted to show you a few things right here, okay? So right now we're on the daily chart and I know my audio may sound weird. I actually came back and I, uh, my audio software was acting up. So I'm just using a new one. So hopefully it's okay. And hopefully it doesn't pierce your ears and maybe, uh, that Kevin Cage auto tune isn't as nice now, but nonetheless, so we're going to actually go to a monthly. I know everybody's looking at the 30 minute chart, the four hour chart, trying to do day trades and scalps. But in my opinion, doing big swing trades is going to be much more profitable. And for me personally, in my own uh, personal financial situation, is going to be a lot more lucrative. So we're going to go to the month, monthly, when in doubt, zoom out. And we're just going to take a look at some things that are going on over here. The reason I'm using Poloniex on tradingview.com, links are in the video description, is because we can see the previous price history or historical data when XRP pumped from half a penny all the way to almost $4 in the past. We were still at $1. I want to show you some very interesting things. So we're going to go over the XRP price chart. We're also going to show you Ethereum. And maybe even another altcoin just to give you an idea of why I'm so bullish during this macro cycle. Yet again, just to paint some perspective, because I know people tell me XRP can't go to a dollar. I've heard that for years. XRP can't go to $10. I'm going to tell them, yes, we will in the future. And yet again, this is going to happen over and over. So I want to show you something with the monthly chart. Notice when we have these golden crosses on these large time frames with the 9 EMA in this purple line, which is the 21, a golden cross is when the smaller time frame cuts up through the bigger one. Well, usually we have a bullish continuation. In this case, we went parabolic for XRP. So even from here, we're just going to go from the EMA. We went all the way up to what? 6,000%. If you want to go all the way to the all-time high on this exchange of $3.50, that is over a 50,000% pump. Now you can look at other exchanges, of course. We do say that on the highest exchange, the all-time high price for XRP was $3.84. Do I believe that XRP can surpass that during this bullish cycle and then some Yes, absolutely. I'm going to be holding my XRP. It is one of my biggest bags. Um, funny enough, though, some of my alts are actually like have outperformed it. So anytime other alts are doing well, XRP to me, I'd rather hold XRP than the US dollar. That is not financial advice. I'm crazy. I'm very different than the normal person. I'm beyond excited for what's to come. And so ideally, yes, I take profit in the fiat. I take profit and add to my long holds in crypto, maybe my top five, top 10 that I like. And then also, I'll try to outperform and just add to my XRP back because I want to leverage XRP in Flare in the future for passive income to never have to worry about a paycheck once again. So beyond excited. So just to paint some perspective right there, we have this golden cross, this giant cup is formed, and boom, we break out. Yet again, what do we have here? Well, now this is not a golden cross. This is breaking through. But now when we cut up, what happened? Well, breaking out now. Now I know we did have this scary SEC lawsuit, all the news down close some gaps around the 17 cent mark yes that's scary but you cannot put this genie back in the bottle guys bitcoin is at sixty thousand dollars or at least was it went from three thousand to sixty thousand that is a 20x your investment xrp 
50 cents times 20 times, you know, 20 X is literally $10. Um, could that happen during this bullish cycle? Very possible. I mean, look at assets like ADA. It's already surpassed all time high. Look at assets like Ethereum creating new all time highs. Look at assets like, let's see, well, Algo is still in route. Um, QNT, Zill, Zillica right here is a perfect example of that. We're just going to watch a lot of these other assets. The higher they go, and I'm going to show you something very cool, the more confident I get. And specifically because now we have, look at the fundamentals. Ripple can come up on top during this lawsuit. We have Flare Networks coming out. Changes maybe relisting XRP in the future if you guys have been paying attention to all the massive news. And now let's look at this as well. So the RSI is coming up in piercing, and we're actually going to, let's do this really quick. Let's split this screen, and we're going to pull up ETH, and ETH is on the monthly. So we're just going to look at this part and try to even it out. And this is why I just get so excited. Now, I realize that, of course, Ethereum, this fractal actually matched um, Origin Protocol, the asset that we bought at $0.22, cents, and it went all the way up to $3. It hit $3 either yesterday or the day before. That is well, well above a 10x your investment in a matter of two months. That is absolutely insane. And of course, OGN, I studied the fundamentals, and now they're saying that it's potentially going to be added to Coinbase. It's on their blog. It's one of the assets that they are looking into. So, of course, the NFT hype, we're just going to be capturing these trends and trading accordingly. So, notice, and I'll, I'll actually show OGN as well, just to kind of give you some perspective. But why am I so freaking confident in XRP, at least long term in the future? Because of data like this with these macro trends. So, let's just look at the RSI on the monthly. Most people don't look at the monthly because it's, it's boring frankly, but why on earth are you trying to um, scalp or day trade on a four hour or 30 minute chart if you don't even know the macro trend? You have to do a top down analysis. So yet again, you know this is sloppy. See how this RSI right here pierced through. We have a massive bullish continuation. Yet we even had a golden cross right here. Same thing is applying. I know we had that scare. Boom. But what happened? We're still coming through, breaking through June 2018 highs all the way to, you know, now breaking essentially January 2018. And we're trying to get through that all-time high price. And we'll also draw some, uh, plot some fibs here I want to show you, but we are watching this monthly time frame. Is it going to be another shakeout and back test, or is it finally ready to get things going? I have not been watching any analysts. I've been extremely busy, um, and I am really excited to get back into it. I want to see what other people are saying as well, um, and kind of just gauge overall the sentiment of this market. Yet again, if you study the fundamentals, if you're reading, you know, white papers of these assets, of the plans and roadmaps, even with Flare Networks, it's actually very vague, which I like because they're focusing on doing instead of promising. They want to over deliver. They don't really give you too much. But if you understand the collateral ratio of, of 2.5, man, the demand for Spark, FLR, which we are getting as XRP holders, is going to be substantial. So this is why I'm very, very excited. So now let me see if I have FIBS. I think I plotted some. So you get the gist. We're looking at the RSI. We want that the Pierce. Same thing with this. Now, and then notice, even with AVAX, Avalanche, another hold of mine, I don't hold a bunch, but I definitely have some skin in the game because AVAX, you know, ETH and XRP, the perfect combinations for their networks. We can see when this starts running, the stochastic RSI starts running sideways, we just get this uptrend. And, I mean, you can go through 100 assets. They're all doing it. Same thing with Kava. It's been so boring. I know it was at $1.30, um, even in January, or was that December? And we've gone over $7, almost, to, I think we wicked over $8. This is just the beginning. These assets are all climbing. The tricky part is timing the order and finding out who will yield the greatest return on your investment. It's not a game of price. I don't care if it's half a penny. I care about my percentage return. So same concept with Zcash or any other asset that's highly liquid, a little more secure than dabbling with micro caps. All right, so we'll be watching the stochastic as well. And let's double click right here. So I highlighted a few points, of course. They align with the FIBs, and we do know that the 382 retracement is one of the most common Fibonacci retracement levels. And if we actually plot it, and we're just going wick to wick for ETH, notice, Double bottom, okay? And let me actually show you this really quick, too, because I'm excited. I have a bunch to go over, guys. We'll stick to the news and go over that in the next video, but I just kind of want to paint a picture. Um, we're going to go with Origin Protocol, and we're just going to do a weekly. And do you see the similarities a bit? See how this double bottom right here? Double bottom right here. So it's this giant cup, double bottom, came here, boom, checked all these, kind of a little back test to these levels, you know, cutting through the EMAs, however you want to see it, and then this bullish continuation. So... Once again, we have this golden cross. This is when we entered. It went all the way up. And this is only during the bull run, only during, you know, only during alt season. It doesn't take a genius, but you have to capitalize on these moves while they last. So what happened here? We're doing the same concept. 
And now we're almost en route to the 1618. And what is that price for Ethereum? It's 2,317 bucks. So about 2,300. If, 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 if we see Ethereum, which I'm rooting for, guys, I'm not hoping that one does better than the other. I don't care. I have skin in the game. I hold a variety of assets. I'm rooting for everybody. This transfer of wealth is arguably going to be one of the biggest things that happens in our lifetime. And it's only going to happen once. Now, there may be more bull runs in the future. And this one potentially could last a couple years like some analysts are projecting. However, I like erring on the side of caution, preparing for the worst and capitalizing on what's to come, just like Zig Ziglar says. Damn, I mean, even the 4.236 of, you know, 5,000, 6,000 bucks, I know you can move this up a little higher if you're seeing, you know, Ethereum at 10000 or $20,000 in the future. Do I wish that happens? Hell yeah, absolutely. Do you know what that means for XRP? $10 plus, $50 plus, maybe even $100 plus a lot sooner than we expect. So I just wanted to share that. I know people are going to roll their eyes at that, but this asset has some strong token tokenomics. This is XRP specifically has a finite supply. So you get the gist here, just this cup. Notice same thing. Sigh, cutting through. These are macro. Now, if you want to go through to the, you know, weekly on Ethereum, you can do the same thing, but this just has so much historical data. So I wanted to plot it with the monthly, All right? And then really quick, so we have Ethereum right here, correct? Um, let me pull up Zcash just so this is kind of helpful for anybody that are like is a brand newbie, newcomer. So we're going to go to the monthly for Zcash. And look at this. What happened? Well, we have this cross. And we've been having a bullish continuation. Now, do, you, do I think that Zcash can get up to these levels? Absolutely. Um, look at the RSI. We have plenty of upside? Yes, absolutely. So Zcash is another asset. I know privacy coins are scary for some, but per the algorithms, per the way the money flows and the volume flows, Sets. Yes, I think Zcash is another conservative one that should do exceptionally well during this bullish cycle. And I'm only talking about this one because it's highly liquid. And there's no way a small person like me could move the price for this asset. I just wanted to point that out. Okay. So now let's go to XRP. I think I was on, let's see, Poloniex, which one is that Kraken? Poloniex. So now let's go back to here. And notice we're still on the monthly for XRP, monthly right here. And let's actually just full screen. So you get the gist. It came all the way up here. And this is why I'm just beyond excited. Because, yes, the possibility, the potential is absolutely there. We finally broke through the 236. Finally, finally, finally broke through the 236. And once again, the 382, the most common retracement level is at about $1.40. 702 is almost $2.50. Do I think we can get there during this bullish cycle? Yes, absolutely. Now, do not go take a loan and buy XRP by any means. You have to focus on the returns. Um, for those of us that have been capitalizing dollar cost averaging when nobody believed in it, that's when it is the most lucrative. Even up here, I'd imagine that we can get to the 1618. That's creating an all or a new all time high, guys, $5 plus. So I actually want to do something differently really quick, too. We're going to split the screen. And now instead of plotting fibs like wick to wick, people may not like this, but so be it. We're going to go to the candle bodies of the monthly. Okay, so the swing high, swing low. We're going to go use this bottom and this top. So top bottom didn't break it or anything it just wicked so now we're going to move this guy and we're just going to kind of look at these two so this is just you know comparing assets um i think ethereum is a very viable asset it's not like i'm just saying comparing dogecoin i'm looking at something that has hundreds of thousands of projects built on top of it with plenty of historical data okay that is done exceptionally well as well so we're using this high this low and now what can we see well we're essentially at the 382 now at you know breaking through that 80 cent you know the 80 90 cent level and the 702 would be at about a dollar 46. I still believe that we can get to that 702 level. Notice we're just kind of watching ETH as well. And typically we know that good news in the charts are often aligned. The chart will tell a story, it happens, and then the news comes out. So if we're continuing to pump, I would say that there's going to be some bullish news with Flare Networks being launched or maybe a new ODL corridor for XRP usage or even something regarding the lawsuit. This is how this happens time and time again. So we're going to be watching this space keeping our eyes peeled. In other news, we have XRP Crypto Wolf even sharing this. Ripple, this is trending, a trending tweet in the cryptocurrency space. Of course, XRP is the digital asset. Ripple is the company. But as we know, years ago, they used, you know, use these terms interchangeably. And a lot of people, Ethereum maxis, Bitcoin maxis, I love them. It's all good and great. They still call XRP Ripple. And that's fine. Um, they're typically just OGs in the space that have been here for quite some time. Um, also, friendly reminder for anybody just to please be safe. There are scammers in the comments on Instagram, on Twitter. I will not ask you to send me money at all. I will not give you my phone number. 
Um, do not fall for that. They're using my picture. They're using all kinds of stuff on Instagram, trying to um, essentially try to give you trading tips for Bitcoin. Do not fall for that. Be extremely cynical in the space. Trust nobody. There's impersonators. There's fake live streams on crypto, like on YouTube. They're trying to get donations. Please be safe, guys. This is your money. There's tons of money to be made in this market. But with that, there's a lot of eyes for scammers and bad actors. Right here, I also wanted to share this because I love this, and this gets me excited. So we have Kaylee or Callie Monroe. I just remembered my portfolio does not even include my incoming flare, the Spark tokens. We haven't even had that distributed to us. If you, back in December, did properly claim your you know, Spark tokens, whether it was on an exchange or using something like XRP uh, toolkit, oh my gosh. So if you have you know 10,000 XRP, one to one ratio, you will have one. 10,000, the same amount of flare in the future. It's going to be rolled out over time because they want to create sustainability in this network and watch it grow. But oh my gosh, can you even imagine? So I'm often kind of imagining the idea. Do I just go deep into the flare IOUs? Do I wait and try to buy a lot of spark when it hits the market? Is it just going to pump like crazy? Is it going to do a flash dump? What is the best plan of attack? And I've been brainstorming that at the end of the day, we should all be happy in the XRP community that we have some skin in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you when in doubt, zoom out, plot some fibs. You can do whatever you want. There's some other fractals and data that I'm looking at. All in all, my personal opinion is that XRP can continue to rise and we can see $2 plus in a relatively quick manner. If we do do any back tests, if we go even on the weekly, and I just said do do, if we go on the weekly, we come back. Please, 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 when in doubt, zoom out, guys. Do not be afraid. Understand, you can. we've been in a bear market for several years. If there are any types of flash dumps, I'm going to be buying. That's my personal choice. I didn't come this far to panic sell. The idea is, and I know uh, Stetis was quoting me, and he's a great person and great website to learn more about XRP. That is Stetis.hr, S-T-E-D-A-S.hr. You can read more about XRP and see some infographics. But the idea is to position yourself in these assets before they do the parabolic moves. And to be honest, yeah, $1 is psychologically nice and we all deserve it. You all deserve it for doing your research every single day and staying strong, even if you have lost faith. But hey, I'm gonna be celebrating when we're at these levels, creating all, you know, new all-time highs. Yes, I believe that. Um, <laughs> and I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't. Bitcoin's done a 20X, Ethereum is at a new all-time high. ADA is killing it. Even VeChain is crushing at 11 cents. Uh, XLM is still gonna move. I just think that this is the right time and place to be here. Crypto is going to become more and more mainstream. It's going to be the hot thing to talk about. People are going to act like they know. And at the end of the day, none of us really know. Because remember, consensus or value is nothing but consensus. And that's what Brock Pierce has said. This is all just a social construct. And if we capitalize on these trends properly, we can make life-changing wealth for all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to tune into the next one. And I will catch you in the next video.